Hey everybody, Kevin Brotts here with Get Fit Outdoors. Thanks so much for watching. We had an awesome day on the water. Thanks for joining us. Let's get to it. We are on the road. Jeez. What are we gonna fish for today? Snapper. Snapper. We are pumped. Today is the opener of Atlantic Red Snapper season. We got to take part in the Gulf Snapper season a few weeks ago. And now we're gonna see what we can do on the east side. Shadow, Don Schaefer, Kevin Gill Custom. Come on. The net. I think it's as big as he thinks it is. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna call 26. I'm telling you, she's a pig. No, don't do that. <laughs> it hurts. Oh, she's big. She's huge. Oh, <laughs> come on. Oh, what oh, <laughs> just happened? Are you kidding me? Come, Kev. My man, Coast Lake Harvest. <laughs> Look him up, fishponds.com. That Holy is a donkey. Smokes. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Woo! That's a fish right there. Get. 
How many is that in there now? That's four. Four? We done. Time to get little man home. Oh man, what a day. Hey, as soon as that hits, high stick it and then keep it skimming. Now he's happy. Mud minnows in there, see him? Hey! Thumbs up, Bubba. How about that for a day's work? Cool. Here, give this, give this to Mr. Kevin. Say thanks for an awesome day. Thanks, buddy. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Appreciate you guys. No, thank you, buddy. What is in this postal bin? Courtesy of the US Postal Service. Hey, for all the packages we shipped, just so you know, it didn't hijack this bin. This is going back to the office on Monday. Hey, awesome trip, brother. Hey, guys. hey, seriously, check out fishpontscoastlinecharters.com or uh, fishpontscoastlinecharters.com. Yeah, so Coastline Charters on Facebook or fishpontscoastlinecharters.com. Captain Kevin McGill builds custom fishing rods that's inshore and nearshore. Inshore and nearshore. Charters. Yep. Beautiful boat. Awesome tackle. Great guy. Look him up. I'm Had a great day. What do you think, Hyatt? Good stuff, brother. Hunter? Hey, look at me. You did great. Say fish on. Fish on. All right. How big are these fish? Whoa! <laughs> you caught those? <laughs> Holy smokes! Holy smokes! No way! Really? Those are huge! <laughs> Luke, come over here! Whoa! You see how big these Look what they got! What do you, you think, bud? Look how big are those snappers? Those are so, so big. big! They're bigger than your head. <laughs> Pretty color right there. Look at that. Beautiful Atlantic red snapper. Just a gorgeous fish. Amazing table fare. Great fun. I'm going to fillet these bad boys up. Real quick, simple guys. I'm sitting on the cooler. I'm cutting on the cooler. And I have another cooler sitting here for our clean fillets. And hose off the fish, hose off the cooler, hose off the driveway. If you hose it off before you start getting fish juice on it, it just makes it that much easier to clean. Like most fish, make a cut right here behind peck fin, down along the gill plate here, and just kind of follow with your knife. They've got a big, big plate right here. Go around that plate, and then you can go up towards the head. There's a lot of good meat right there. That diagonal cut get you a nice big nugget on both sides. And I'll take my knife and just run it straight down the backbone. You're almost just scoring it at this point. Just making that first cut. Giving your knife something to follow. All right? Come down again. When you're filleting the fish, just use the bones to guide your knife. Right. And the snapper's got a little bit of rib bones and tail bones. So just guide your knife down along there. You can see that, I mean. Bones. A little bit of rib meat there, but you can't 
can't get much better than that. Rinse. If you don't have a hose with it, no big deal. Just use a rag or a paper towel, wipe it down every now and then. Makes it super quick and easy. Okay. I like to cut any of the membrane or any little bones off. Quick and easy. I'm gonna cut that filet in half. Okay. This makes it easier to clean. There's nothing wrong. No one's gonna eat that whole filet of meat. Take my fingers here, pinch this. You see all this white stuff right here? That's all chewy uh, ligaments and sinew. No one's gonna eat that. So we'll just pinch our fingers and use our knife to just guide along that, the skin. And the nice thing about Snapper is because they have those thick scales, it gives you basically a backbone to skin against. Look at that. Delicious, right? Look. Yummy. If I skin this super tight against the skin, you'd see this red here would come out here and be nice and thin. I like to cut all that off anyway, so it's okay we didn't get that filet perfectly off the skin because we would have cut that off anyway. And I'm gonna just cut in a little bit, get that red out, and then cut down. Because that's where the bones and the bloodline go all the way through the filet. You could take that right there and make a strip bait for more bottom fishing or pitch bait to dolphin. And that is goodness right there. Don't feel like you're wasting meat by trimming it up. You're not wasting meat. You want your meat to taste as good as it can. So get rid of the yuckiness. Get a little bit of sinew. Cut that off. That right there is one lower half of a snapper fillet. Upper half of a snapper fillet. Just deliciousness. Big old snapper. Thank you, Jesus. What a great day. Y'all, to have Hunter out there be with good friends and family, I feel like Kevin Gill, Jason Hyatt, they're just family, right? Just, I'm telling you, if you want to build relationships, find some good people in the outdoors, spend time with them, invest in them, let them know that you're real, help out, pay for gas, pay for bait, pay for ice, you saw in that video, I had Hunter give Kevin Gill a good amount of cash that more than covered his expense. And then Jason Hyatt also gave him a good amount of cash that helped even more on top of that. Kevin didn't ask for that, but I know how it is taking a boat out there, being responsible for the gear and the bait, the ice, and we pitched in to clean up too. But thank you, Lord. Thank you guys for watching. Now let's go cook some of this snapper. Lightly oiled our pan with a little bit of olive oil. I've done drier fish off. <coughs> Just seems to take better to the seasoning. <coughs> but we did have some diced tomatoes, so let's get these stewing real quick. Okay, some garlic in there. A little bit of black pepper. Be a salsa and a nice chunky tomato at the same time. All right, so let's do some fajita seasoning. And we'll do some everybody's heat. Fine sea salt. That's it, done. So now we're gonna put that in the broiler on low, let it cook, then throw it in tacos. So when you're broiling, you gotta be careful because all your heat's coming from the top, so it's real easy to burn. So I put it on low, and I'm gonna keep checking it often. Y'all ready to eat some good food? Yes, yes. Kenzie, what's your favorite food? Fish. <laughs> Luke, how do you say where we went? Apple An Apple cola. All right, diced up. Look at that. Mommy's ahead of the game. Dice the lettuce up. We got cheese ready to roll. We're making our salsa already. That's it, so we can we can actually heat up some fajitas. Stack them up, make sure we separate them good so there's a little bit of air between them, kind of stagger them. If you warm up a tortilla, bake it in the oven, put it in a pan, it tastes so much better than just a tortilla out of the bag. And that's it, a quick, easy, home-cooked meal. Our tomatoes are brewing a little bit. 
Okay, she's finishing up. Let's say a quick prayer. Who's gonna say it? Thank you, Lord, for an amazing weekend. Thank you for all the memories we made, all the great experiences, the time we spent with our family and friends. Thank you for safe, safe time on the water. Thank you for safe time at home. We ask that you bless everyone. Help everyone feel well, heal if they aren't already feeling well, and um, those who are well to stay well. Bless us food to our bodies. Help us to make good decisions and bring the glory to you, God. We love you. Amen. Who wants some fish? Here's the mama. Alright guys. I promise you it smells as good as it looks. What do you think about the fish, buddy? Good. Oh look at Luke going to town. Making his own fish fajita, you fish taco. Do you want some cheese in there? Yeah. How about some lettuce? Or some tomatoes? Not in there. Mm. One trick, use a slotted spoon with big slots to make sure you get the juice out if you don't want soggy tacos. Mm -hmm. You like the fish? Hunter, <laughs> hey, Hunter is our toughest, toughest critic when it comes to fish. Really all food, especially fish. Together? And he likes to play games. So to hear him say he likes it, how much do you like it? I want some lettuce in it too. Is it a thumbs up? 10? What? Dude, hey, give me five. Wait till I, sh I tell Mr. Jason. This is how he cooked his at his house. He's gonna be so thrilled that you liked it. Me too. Look at you, big champ. How old are you, Luke? Three. Three, and you're eating a fish taco. Yeah. Who needs hot dogs? Me. Daddy, <laughs> <laughs> I still like hot dogs too, right? Same. I'm some cheese. Your kids don't have to eat pizza, chicken nuggets, and hot dogs exclusively. Mom. I'm telling you, if you work in other stuff. Fish is yummy. There you go. Mommy, from the mouths of babes. Alright, I'm gonna make mine. I can't stand this any longer. Do you want to try one? Yeah. Let's try that. And chicken. Alright, and ready to taco. I like it. That's really good. Like Delicious and so easy. No butter to melt. No nothing to base, marinate. It was fish, pat it down, literally dry seasoning. Cooked it, no tin foil, just open with a broil on low. Super easy. And the nice thing about these dice ones are so soft, it's kind of like the perfect in between a regular tomato and salsa without having to do both. That is fresh, caught. So good, so good. Love you guys, thanks for watching. Have a great night. Luke, what do we say? Huh? God bless. See ya. See ya, baby. Say God bless, see ya, and then pound it. See ya. Thank you guys for watching. I'm extremely blessed to make my living in the outdoors and couldn't be happier than to share it with you. So thanks for much, so much for watching. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And hit that notification bell so you get notified when we have more new videos released. We've got gator hunting, hog hunting, deer hunting, python hunting, air boating, all kinds of good stuff coming to you. Please tell your friends and family, get outdoors, make it happen, and have a great day. God bless.